everyone, welcome back to Jax's Lego Stack Snack. Sorry about how dark it is down here. I had to come where I store all my Lego Harry Potter because I didn't have space to store this where I film my videos. So, it's the Lego Harry Potter Advent Calendar. It is 7 plus, set number 75981. It has 335 pieces, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm about to show you the mini builds. So, let's get into it just so you know this will not be in any specific order so that you won't be spoiled on what days you're opening it and what you're getting in the days um i'm just be doing this in scrambled order from what i pick up and the minifigures will be last but this is the goblet of fire i like this sparkly water piece they put and it's nice build it's really it's a really nice technique to use because they made it go upside down at the top with one of those little bottle top pieces. Um, so, I just really like how they put in this build and let's move on. This is a grand piano and I really like how they included this. I like how it's a four by one printed keyboard tile then it's just build of a grand piano it is kind of wobbly because over here there's nothing so if you push that it just falls over but i'm fine with that it's really cute and when you put a mini figure next to it standing up it's like the perfect height so that's the grand piano i'm glad they included it let's move on so this is a fireplace, and the fireplace has a little stocking at the top, which I like, but let's not get into that yet. I like how they use that to make it like a little over side thing above the fireplace. I like how they use the stick in black color with those black little hooks to make it look like it's the front of the fire. Um, the stocking was used by making a, they had a whole piece, a whole tan piece, then, um, one of those Technic pins in gray. It doesn't have to be gray if you want to make this, but, and you can stick it on, and I think they did this so that it's centered and it's angled. Um, you can see there are also little clips on the side of this. That is because you get these two builds and what you're supposed to do I think is stick them together to make a little round thing that you can angle you can make it like that you can make it like that you can really do anything you want with this except these two aren't my favorite builds. I'll keep this one together, but these two aren't my favorite builds, and I'm going to probably take them apart and use those pieces for other mocks I will do in the future. So, yes, that is the fireplace and the two things with holly at the top, chocolate frog, which I love, um, and drink. Those are the two things. Moving on. You get a microphone and a music sheet. I really like how they did the music sheet. And I like how they put the little blue translucent piece at the bottom because it kind of matches the Yule Ball theme because the colors are kind of blue, white, and it's just like really nice and beautiful. And yeah, we have the tile that's printed at the top which I really like is that an actual song I don't know I don't think if you played that on the piano that it would work out but I have no idea um the microphone so I like how they put the thing at the bottom or the the plate piece at the bottom then another one of those black sticks with that on it I wish they used the real microphone piece but I think it looks okay with the cone um 
I really enjoy that. And let's move on. I really like this, honestly. It's kind of really cute. You could use it as like an ornament or like hang it up. I don't know. But it's really, really cute. Um, It has, it's Hogwarts. It's a mm, mini, mini scale Hogwarts because the micro scale Hogwarts is the big Hogwarts. Um, but so those are the little cone pieces. It kind of looks like the Great Hall. It's the Great Hall. And then this looks like part of the Whomping Willow set. But it looks really nice. It looks like the Great Hall. It looks amazing. I really like this build. I really like how they put this here. So it looks like the windows and that. And then on the back, it's really just the same thing. Then you have that holding it on. This was a really hard build to know what you were doing because it kind of just showed you what you no it, it wasn't too hard but it kind of was to see that you had to put the piece on the bottom back there so i really like this build and it's really nice moving on this is a Gryffindor couch. It's supposed to go in like a Gryffindor common room or something. Because I remember it's from the Goblet of Fire. I'm going to show a picture of it right up here. It's from the Goblet of Fire. And it is when Harry's sitting on the couch. Right? Or like there's a couch. And then he's about to open the golden egg. And the mermaid's person is like yeah um so this is a really cute build it has flat tiles one brick that connecting it i really like this and let's move on well first i really love the golden egg again it's really shiny and nice and golden because i don't have one of these yet um, well, now I do, but I didn't have one of them. Let's move on, though. This is such a cool build. I really love this build, and it looks so relevant. Let's actually move it over a little bit and put a picture right here. Um, there is this big thing where the music comes out, and oops, it's just... With the black little thing, it looks really nice. Sorry for moving that all out of the way. But I really love this build. I love how they made it like have the back so that you can connect it all. It's just such a great build. It's amazing. I love this. Let's move on. Okay, I really like this build. This build is a build and you get this first rather than another build I'm gonna show you in two seconds um but I really like how they used these to make like I don't know what they are but it's really cute and then some snack things with some of these really pointy top clear pieces which I love then you can see there are holes in this holes hmm what does that mean Technic thing, huh? Yeah. You get this build. This build is technically the same, except it has different designs on it with, like, these translucent pieces for the drinks, which I really love. Then, um, still the tips, just in a different order. Then, this one has Technic bins. Whoa. Guess what? It gives you another Technic pin, but you only need two because three would just be really strong. Um, they connect. It's a table. It's a table that connects. It's that table. No, well, it could just be a table, but it kind of reminds me of that table at the Yule Ball. Where, right here, where Ron and Harry had 
fat and we're like upset because Harry wanted to go with Cho and he was looking at Cedric with Cho and Ron wanted to go with Hermione and he was looking at Hermione with Crumb. Just, I love it. This is such a great build and yeah, let's move on. This is a Christmas tree. I really like this build. It is really nice and I like how it's like covered in snow with the star at the top with the bottom that you can make it stand. How these are all facing directions to make it different or to make it go the same way. And that's really all for the build. I really like this build. And let's move on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I really like this build. Um, I really love how they incorporated the snake pieces. Now, this build goes along with another build. Because, well, no, it doesn't go along with any other build. But, it, I personally like it better than what I'm about to show you because I don't know why but this might be my favorite um Triwizard Cup although the one with Cedric in the series one is also really good this is the one from Rise of Voldemort now yes this one is smaller and more relevant because of that way but this one looks so amazing. I really love the snake pieces. Love how they made translucent blue on the bottom and the top. And I I know it's it's huge. I know it's so big. Because it's taller than Ron. Even taller than the tallest in this, Hermione. But still, it is just I love this build. I really love how they incorporated the snake pieces again, as I just said before. And yeah, I like this build. Let's move on. Presents! Woo! Um, you can see there's one for each house. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that, just cleared my throat. We have a Slytherin present with gray and green stacked up with the two by two tiles and then at the top we have a little hook piece <clears throat> to make it look like it's wrapped all around i really like this <clears throat> but i also really like this it's hufflepuff it's three by three on top of each other then one of those again with the hook on it connected to it by that then the one over here i really like that like this i like how it's blue it's round i really like how it's round it's blue and gray then blue on top then the kind of looks like wrapping this one's really cool i really like this one um yeah, I'm not going to be able to stand that up, but it's one of those letter pieces on one of the outfacing stud pieces because you need, um, well, you don't need a letter on it, but because it's a broom. It's a broom. I was going to say it's Sirius Black's one thing, but no, it's not. Um, it might be, but it's, I don't know. It's a broom, and it's wrapped. I really like this build. It's really nice, and yeah, I like all of these builds. They're all some gifts for what? One's for Cho, and then I don't have, and then I have Gryffindor, and then no Hufflepuff of Slytherin in this, but let's move on. Not only one but two Christmas trees. These are the exact same build, and so I'm just gonna show you one of them. Oh, this one's dirtier. But I'm just gonna show you one of them. Um, it has a bottom on it with that piece, 
that has all out facing studs on the whole thing, which you put the translucent blue piece and the translucent clear piece, or the clear piece on there. Then you put one of those white towel pieces on and then the little comb piece at the top. This is a really cute build and it kind of goes along. It doesn't, it's not in the same thing, but you can kind of put these with each other, all the trees. Like, yeah, that's really close up, but you can kind of put all the trees together like that. Um, these are a really cute build, and I really like it. Moving on. This build is just a little table, not very interesting, um, with one of those little, like, plus things at the bottom. It's not a plus thing, I just said that. Or an X, you could say. I just said that because it looks like an addition symbol. But then it has the four rounded pieces on it and the round piece on top. With that, I don't know why that's there because there's nothing on it. And then I like how they gave us a bottle. It includes an orange flower on the top, which I think might be a sign that it is pumpkin juice. I have no idea though. This isn't the most interesting build. But it's okay. Let's just move on. This build is pretty cute. I like how it has the horse with on the front with from it being those two pieces that you can put the wheels on. And in case you haven't known yet, new yet, it's the Beaks the Beaks Baskin's carriage. I might have said that wrong, sorry if I did. But it has the little gold pieces on the front and the holes for the windows on the side. Then it's just a really cute little small build. Little small, smaller than micro size build. Or probably, I don't know. But it's really cute. You can make it nice. So, yep, let's move on. Our last. But, not least, build, not including the minifigures, is the, oh gosh, I blanked out, um, the ship, it's, I forgot the name, I seriously knew it two seconds ago, it's the ship that crumbs people come on in the fourth movie. Um, I'll probably type it in at the bottom, but it's a really cute build with the sides, just with the holes on the outfacing studs, then the little ship piece at the top, the cannon thing at the front, and these things at the back, and it goes away. So let's move on. This is Harry in his Yule Ball uniform, but first he actually did come with a printed tile that says that has a Yule Ball on it, and it says the Weird Sisters at the bottom with a bunch of writing that we can't read because it's just lines. Um, it's really cute and it's like a Yule Ball invitation thing. He also comes with a little table with a candle on it, so that is also a cute inclusion with this minifigure. This minifigure has the slicks to the side hair, like he does in all the other Goblet of Fire sets. He has some just plain black legs, his normal color wand, which is the darkish brown. Then he has the tux on that's buttoned up at the bottom, which actually looks a lot like him. I'll put a picture of all the people at the top corner. No side printing. Then on the back, he does have some lines. Um, so, yep, that's pretty much all for Harry. Moving on. Harry, I forgot to include his other face, but it's fine. You've probably seen it before if you're watching this video. I really like Cho Chang's dress. It's a really nice print, and she actually uses, like, all the women or the girls in this 
just um, a flat plain tile that's the color of her dress and a brick printed with with printing on it um, I really like this figure I think it is a really nice figure she has the same color wand as Harry does no side printing some back printing on the dress her hair piece is also very nice you can see she's kind of sad on the back there um but that's Cho let's move on I'm not sure what the other sister's name is but I'm pretty sure this one is Pavati Patel the one who goes to the dance with Harry um at the Yule Ball and they kind of aren't dating because Harry doesn't dance with her or anything but she has um one of those orange wands some back printing if we can just take her hair off some back printing and kind of more of a smirk on her face um you can see she has a little one of those um, marks at the top of her forehead like Indian cultures do have um that is Pavati Patel this is I forgot her name the one who goes to the dance with Ronald um yeah so we no she has She's pretty much the same as the other one. She has the same face, the same hair, um, except she does have different torso and a different brick because um, the colors are different. They made it mismatch so that the p dark pink was on Pavati's dress or what was on Pavati's brick, and the coral was on the other one's brick. So. Yeah, she is pretty much the same, same kind of back printing as Pavati Patel, same back face. So, yep, that is the other Patel sister. Now moving on to my two favorite figures of all of this. So, this is Hermione. I'm full team Hermione plus Ron I love their couple they're cute I love her and him as a couple and then um she has her sleeveless dress I really like that printing it looks very nice her tan wand her big puffy hair piece her mad face right there um she has no side printing some back printing yes she does let's just take off this huge hair piece and you can see her happy face, but I felt it was more convenient to be mad because the next time that's going to suck a bigger enough, maybe for somebody else that's not the last resort part. But yeah, she has her nice dress. Then this hair. Whoa, this is big, big hair. Um, I don't know if they made it specifically for her, but it looks exactly like she did. Um, I really love this big, huge hair piece. That like doesn't even fit on my finger. But so that is Hermione Jean Granger. Now moving on to you know who. So I know it did sound like I was gonna say Voldemort, but um I meant Ron. Um I love this figure. He has some just plain black pants like Harry over here then he has this longer kind of hair piece for him because everyone had long hair in the Goblet of Fire um, he has his normal wand which is the brown then he has his dress robe which he hates because he smells like his great aunt Tessie. 
and he looks like his great aunt Tessie. Um, this is just such a great figure. They're in love, obviously. Um, he has his angry face on, same reason why I did Hermione. Some back printing, not much, but his face is happy, and I didn't think that was relevant, because he's not happy one bit at the Yule Bowl, so he's always going to be angry. And as I said before, this, this table looks like the table that Harry and Ron are mad at. Um, no, they're not mad at the table, but when they're sitting down and they're mad, yeah. Okay. Um... So, this is Ron, everyone. I really love this figure. And that was it. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video of the Lego Harry Potter Advent Calendar 2020 review. Um, I will be having more videos like this going on. Not exactly like this, but reviews. Um... I still have to review um the burrow stay tuned for that um and yeah i have some more stuff to do, review too um i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys all next time bye